Thank you very much. That is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, award to be given. I, I have had Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech on the wall in my office for decades at Health Partners and Kites Permanente, and I have it on the wall in my home. It's a, a vision for this country that I think we desperately need, and I think he is one of the greatest men in the history of our country, and I, I am particularly honored to be uh, given this award here today. So thank you. Thank you very, very much for that. This is a state-of-the-art hospital. This is a really well-designed hospital that has people who understand the current state of medicine delivering good care in a, in a very impressive way. And, and my sense was that the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. would be proud to have his name on the hospital that is delivering care at that level. And I mentioned one other point. And the point is that the number one predictor for who is going to be in prison at age 18 is the number of words in their vocabulary in kindergarten. The kids who have tiny vocabularies in kindergarten end up not being able to read. They end up being on the wrong end of the learning gap and they end up dropping out of school, and they end up in prison. And the pathway to not being able to read starts in the first three years of life. The first three years are when all the neuron connectivity happens in the brain. And the children who do not have those connections made in those years end up with tiny vocabularies at age three, small vocabularies at kindergarten, the, the kids are unable to read, and it is almost impossible to catch up. California has done some brilliant research with 30 minutes a day of loving buffering time with each child. It, it takes a relatively small amount of time to change the neurochemicals of the brain. And we need to help all of the mothers and all of the fathers and all of the families understand this. Exercise the brain. Read to the child, talk to the child, play with the child. Talking is golden. Any language works. Every language works. We need to have our caregivers understand this. And I know that the caregivers at this hospital understand this. And the maternity unit is already coaching the mothers who are giving birth about the need to interact in, in loving ways with the child. That's actually an explicit part of the coaching here. Well done. It's the right thing to do. It's what the future needs to be for the entire care system.